Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. I'm going to scrap some gold today, and we're going to take you along. I'm going to show you where I go. It's the same place I've been going there for three or four years. Excellent people, but let's head off there right now. So here we are at Estate Jewelers. This is the one I always go to. Uh, before I picked a place to go and sell my gold, I would call around and see who pays the most for gold. Usually there's one in every town that pays more than all the other ones, and this is just the one that does it. Um, as you can see, it's Estate Jewelers. Um, they're open in just a few more minutes here, so I've got just a couple minutes to wait. Uh, but we're gonna take it in, and as I showed you, I do have it all separated. This is the bag of gold, um, and we'll see what we get for it. So again, 15, 20 bucks I have invested into this. Hey, how we doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. I'm Don. Yeah, I'm Ed Smith. Ed, if I'm not mistaken, you own the place, is that not I correct? Do. Yeah. And this is my son, Miles. Hey, how we doing there? And this is Rob. He's a gemologist. How are you? I have a gem question for you, too, so that might be... Yeah. Um, I've actually separated it all, and I usually just kind of bag it up okay. separately in here. What we do is we go through all the different carrots so there's different percentages. Yeah, they should everything that I have marked with the carrot, they're actually marked. I okay, used good. the loop and double checked them all. Now this one in here, that ring I'm almost sure is ten carat, and then there is a face piece that I think is fourteen. I rudimentarily okay. we, we got an x-ray spectrometer yeah i was going to ask you about that i know you guys have had that and i've seen it here before yeah but... it works real well the old-fashioned way is with nitric acid and hydro i've acid. done that i'm just never and, and it's not healthy for you what we do when we separate like we we like the older jewelry this is from like 1910 yeah so this I figured... i'd pay a premium i'd pay over gold for it and we would restore it put a new stone in and the whole yeah. Yeah, I found many of these, and sometimes I run into these that don't have any markings, but that one says 18. Most, yeah, most of them are 18 carats. Some of them are platinum. Yeah, I had a platinum one once before, yeah. too. Like, a lot of this is bulk purchases. And, in fact, you know some of the people that I would have gotten some of this sure. from, too. Now, the B, I'm almost sure I've had one or two of those in the past that's that's been gold. But Yeah, some of them are uh, Masonic, some of them are palladium. Yep. And some are platinum, but we'll be able to tell. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think this was gold, but I didn't want to get poked on the way over. No, that's gold filled. And, and there's other ways to do it. You know, you, we got a strong magnet. Yeah. It's 55 I, pounds, so. Just didn't want to get poked. Yeah. I don't think those are, but I thought since I was coming, I just threw in my little jar and I figured. They're, they're usually marked on the post. Yeah, I looked for that too, but I couldn't find anything on there. This one I'm gonna test real quick. This I'm gonna take over to the x-ray spectrometer. And I'll tell us what it is. Coming out to 14 carat on that, right? Yeah, see, I didn't know if that was, because it's marked 10K and then 14K. Yeah, the top part is 14 <laughs> You can tell it's solid gold, at least where it's broken at, so. I think we paid a dollar for that broken ring. That's pretty good. That's how I started out. I started out going to flea markets when I was 16. Same here. I started collecting my five. My father gave me his stamp collection when I was seven, and ever since then I've been in a paper. Comics, you know, anything pretty much vintage. Yeah, I started out with coins. Did coins too. In fact, my, my son's got a, my collection now. We gave it to the kids. Okay. One thing about, I'm going to put this over to the 14 carat. One thing about the spectrometer, just like testing gold with nitric acid, you have to scrape it a little bit. Make a little mark so it can yeah, penetrate. Yeah, so it can penetrate the gold field. So on the acid, I'm going to just make a line on these. It'll tell me, you know, if they're solid or not. And we pay up, we pay up for nicer jewelry. You know, I bought a sapphire for 21000 where most people would. I know when I first... A lot of big diamonds, too. Diamonds are always good. When I first um, was looking to sell, I we called around, and you paid the highest out of yeah. everybody in town yeah, that we, I had talked to. We put to. everything on a spreadsheet, and then anything that's nicer, that's resellable, we'll pay way over gold. So we're not just scrap buyers. 
You know, a lot of this is scrap, and not with the scrap, right. we're able to pay a little more because what we do is we repurpose it. We'll meld it down, we'll re-alloy it, add pure gold to it, and then we use it for our wholesale manufacturing. So you increase the from like 14 to 18 carat or something like yeah, that? I'll probably take 14 carat down to 10 carat. Oh, okay, so you're reducing yeah, it. Okay. Or I can make it any color. It's whatever orders we have. Very interesting. The the earrings are gold, these are not gold. The gold filled. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping that one was. I know that the uh, B, they've made 10 carat ones and 14 carat. So our scales are all certified. The state comes in here and certifies them. What's gold running right now? Gold running right now, it's $1,427 per ounce. And we update that throughout the day. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I usually check it a couple times a day if we're messing with it. Like this one, actual gold in it. For the ring? For the ring. No, no, no. So that's the 18, 19, 20. It's like $81. That's at 100%. And this I would pay $100 for. And a lot of times on the older things, we'll make a mold of it and we'll make thousands of them. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. We do them in silver, gold, platinum. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know you'd do that. So you have vacuum chambers and the whole works to cast. Yeah, we have the same thing. <laughs> We have uh, degassing, cool. vacuums, and <laughs> pressure tanks. We, we, we have made um, probably about 500 to 600 rings in a day. You know, I have disc finishers. You know, I've got it down to a science. Vestment casting, spin cast, yep. the whole works. So it's vacuum. It's older equipment, but it works good, so why update it? So it's a vacuum as well when you're casting. Yeah, oh. yeah you put it in a chamber. We just have a cheapo spin caster that we I, made. I had those, but yeah. um, you don't get the consistency. You yeah, use I a should. torch. The main thing, with because we do different colors of gold. And you need different temperatures, so we have something that holds it. Oh, is that the difference in it? I didn't realize it was a temperature that caused it. Now, this is all just scrap gold here. I have been here before, and I just moved. Okay, Yeah, yeah, no, no, not that one anymore. This one currently the current one. Well, there's like 15 invested, like 15 invested into this, and I don't even really have that just because we've already sold stuff in sure. the same lots. Yeah, well, this I went 92%. Divide up, say, I want to sell those and loan Because we don't actually get 100. We have to send it out, get it refined, or we refine it down because ourselves. Because we hold it for months okay. versus holding it for five days. So like this, yeah, this stone was in this pin, and okay. the other part of it's there, but that's why I figure there might be just a chance on it. Looks like it's probably glass, but... Yeah, it looks synthetic. We got meters that can tell it, and then, then there's a problem whether it's synthetic. The synthetic, well, lab-created will also test out as genuine. Well, really, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's basically the same thing as a real right. one. It's just Kriya. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. That's where the gemologist comes in. He can see grow lines, little bubbles. Yeah, I could see bubbles in there, but, you know, I'm not into gems themselves. Scrap, different story, but... Yeah, I buy a lot of gemstones. I've got a lot of, like, Alexandrites, things they don't see. I just want to wipe this up. There's something sticking out here. My wife has a pendant that has opals on it. Would you be able to replace an opal yeah, on it? Yeah, that's no problem. I have no, three jewelers that work directly for us. We have gemstones on hand, and it's really easy. It's a vintage piece. She would yeah. just like to have it. And that's that's a Brimfield's too. piece, actually, oh, yeah. now that I think about it. I think it is Brimfield's. And we're real good at restoring older jewelry. Most jewelers don't know how to restore it because they polish it too much, and it don't need to be polished too much. I like the patina on right. the jewelry. Yeah, definitely so. Okay, this, this also would be considered scrap. Yeah, that's just a Junko 10K, I think, ring. I didn't even think it was real at first. Okay, total comes out to five hundred and seventy dollars. So that's pretty good on what I've got into it. Oh. So yeah, definitely. So I will go ahead and sell it off. Let me. I know you need a driver's license. Yep.
for those who don't know, you do you need, need a driver's up. license. Yep. Well, the thing of it is we carry two different licenses, two state licenses, which a lot of jewelers don't. This is a bio in here. I didn't realize it was that high still. I hadn't looked at the gold price oh, yeah. in a while. So, yeah. It fluctuates so much. I'm not a speculator, so I buy, sell, make, and ship out. That's very interesting. Yeah. I was quite, quite surprised it was that much, honestly. Maybe we can come back and uh, you can show us around maybe one day. Yeah, definitely. That's not interesting. I'd love to see the uh, your bench area and the whole works too one yeah, of these days. Nice. The kilns, the whole works. And we you're... also do, um, which is nice too, we, we have a 3D growing machine, we do CAD. So we're able to send our customers a rendition. They can change the color of it, color of the stones, and it'll do a three-dimensional. Do you have a 3D printer that you, you know, do tests on as well, too? Or? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we actually grow the model. We, we do a lot of custom work. We have an artist, Courtney, that is a jeweler, which is very hard to find. Interesting. Yeah, we'll definitely have to come back and uh, take a look around. Maybe one day you can show us the uh, analyzer over there, too. Oh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I like that. It saves you from breathing the acid because, you know, for years, you know, it's still caustic. Yeah, I know they have a tester or a handheld one that runs like four or five on. I've got, I've got three of those. Are they are they good? Yeah, they are. They're fairly good. Um, the thing of it is you still have to scratch it. You know, if you don't scratch it, then it won't come out. You're only doing the surface and it's not right. doing the internal. Nothing will penetrate it. Yeah. Is there one of those handheld testers you'd recommend? Yeah, only one. called the key tester oh wow that's pretty interesting what does that run just curiosity sake? um it's probably around 325. oh well, that's very reasonable yeah, that's you know, they went I, down I, since I, I actually looked. met this guy in Brimfield that designed it oh the designed this actual yeah, unit he designed it like in the yeah. 90s and it looked like a vote ohm meter and he goes let me see that ring of yours and he put it on there and right to 15 carat wow that's pretty he had interesting. passed and then someone bought the rights off the family I get mine situation. from Sep Tools out of Chicago. Okay. Is that uh, just a jeweler supply company? Yes. And they're very, I get a lot of my supplies from them. Okay, well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But, but it's real easy, you know. You, so. This was marked 18 karat, but it's actually. Those are the 14. Yeah, Some of the times they yeah, change yeah. it. Yeah, I think so. that's okay. Yeah, no, absolutely. Give me one moment. Oh, sure. I'm just going to put this in a bag. i got to calibrate it. Not quite calibrated. Yeah, that's a problem. See there, cold state. Oh, okay, I was going to say, that one does look yeah. like it's 18, just by the looks on it comparatively. I'm not a pro, but I've seen enough gold in my day. So your son started off the same way, flea Yeah, you know, I used to take him around when he was nine years old because I sold wholesale jewelry. I used to, you know, used to wear a suit, and everyone goes, oh, he's so nice, but I gave him a percentage of what I sold. So he was just trying to figure out his percentage at every dealer that I sold to. Yeah, I remember the suit days. I was a regional for a long time, and it was suit and tie whenever I visited somebody. See, so you just put it on there. This one's got a high count to 14 karat. It's always better to have a high count. Yeah, well, a lot of times the Italian gold, people don't realize. It's 14 karat gold, but they wash it with a higher 18 So you know what that $50 is for? So it tests a little. These don't have really diamonds that are useful. This is just stones. Oh, yep, at the end, yeah. But this we'll goes through pretty quick. Okay, are, so, so is this, you, you're pretty sure that's... I'll show you. I'll show you another meter for that. This is another little tester. we got to have so many different things. Yeah, just like in what we do, too. We have a ton of different yep, And this is just equipment. the first test, okay? Then it goes to Rod. And what's what's this one? You want to hold that one up? Just it's a much? Presidium gem test. Is this like probably the best one you would recommend? Well, you know, it's pre for the money it is. What does one of those run if you don't um, Probably about $200. Oh, well, that's again very reasonable. Yeah, but yeah. it won't tell you if it's real. It'll tell you if it's... It passes the test yeah, for real. Yeah, if it's glass or not. I like it mainly because aquamarines and blue topazes are so close. This will distinguish it right away. So everything here, one of you can tell. 
Yeah, I'm always iffy on some of the earlier ones, but since that's from uh, probably 1920s or 30s piece, I thought there might be a chance. They use a lot of synthetic scent. Yeah, that was the only drawback, too. It's definitely glass. Yeah, I figured. The reason I say when you flip it on the back side, if you look around the very edge, it yeah, has some that. white. Yeah, and that yeah. was. It looks like it's almost like layered and glass. And they, they they did a lot of uh, they called like doublets, where they actually fused the real stone to uh, synthetic stone. Really? Yeah. That's kind of crazy to even think yeah. about that. But we need all of this to you know determine the price. How often do you ever get taken for something, if you don't mind me you asking? You know what? I'll be honest with you. Out of, out of five buyers that we have here, probably got six buyers, I'm the one that's more laxed. And I usually have it somewhere in my office so I can see it. But nowadays, they're making so much phony stuff. I mean, they're putting heavy layers of gold on it. I just don't take the time to really... Dig in. And my son told me that um, one of the latest reports from the government was that 75% of all bullion silver on eBay alone is fake. Oh, I believe that. That's a huge yeah. amount. And they have different testers for that. Now, the spectrometer, you still have to drill it. So yeah. even if you had like a 10 ounce bar of silver, oh, you'd have to drill I've it. I've seen 10 ounce bars of gold where they use uh, tungsten, which has the same. Weight wise, Weight, right? Yeah, because the, the one will have three ounces of pure gold, seven ounces of tungsten, but they have what's called a sigma test, which is more like a, you just put a wand over it and it'll tell you if there's anything else in it. Wow, that's They're about a thousand dollars. I don't need it because I don't buy bullion. The bullion and a lot of the bigger coins we just send down to a coin shop because <coughs> they know more about it. You know, Specific I'll, I'll coins. buy coins that I collect. Another half carried around. But you know the bullion um, and that I'll send down. Sixty-eight to them. points, roughly total weight. Very the interesting. Test. But yes. Right. This is eighteen carat. Okay. Sixteen. It's okay. like twelve. This is fourteen carat. Twelve seventy-two a month. Okay. You put them all in on categories on your receipts. I'm assuming. Yeah. The, everything okay. goes to the police every night. You know, we, um, we're on Leeds Online. Uh, they want us to buy everything because that's how they curve. How they can catch somebody. Catch them, right? So we work with them all the time. We take pictures of the driver's license. That's where we scan over there. Yeah, that's what I figured, yeah. And uh, pictures of the jewelry, too. So. How often do they come back and say, hey, this is stolen? It's not that often. If some don't seem right, we call the police. Just to you be know, safe the, instead oh, no, of, yeah. not safe, know. just to okay. make sure that, you know, the, if the jewelry don't match the purse. I just need a license as well. You know, I'm ready to check and a lot of times, you know, they might have inherited it, but the police Sometimes it's not. Right. Yeah, very box, interesting. That, I, I watched some of the, uh, the pawn shows, and one of the things they say is they've bought rings. When something like that happens, you're out the money. Is that not I'm correct? I'm not out the money. I have an Ohio Precious Metals license. And the law states that they reinfer first me or the insurance and then they go after the criminal so that's like a separate air, separate uh, insurance that maybe not everybody would have or is that yeah, anybody you, needs it see not too many people have uh, an ohio precious metals license we do i think we're the only jeweler in toledo that does have one um hence why most people end up going here i would say probably yeah but um you, you never know you know we get people coming here because of our reviews online and things like that and we we encourage people to shop around if you call us up we'll say shop it around and they always come back yeah that's exactly why I, i've come here for i think we've been coming here for three or four years mm -hmm. now you know not constantly but no, you know right, as we yeah, get we stuff put stage, together yeah, yeah we buy off a lot of people that do that for a living I figured you must just because yeah. if anybody smart would be calling around to see the one that pays the highest. Well, yeah, Miles is around here. He's going through in a state, you know, 11 kilos of silver jewelry. That was the bucket I think yeah, I saw. They, they, buy, um, they buy a lot of estates and things like that. So, Is that an auction house, Miles? No. No, Miles is my son. He's buying Oh, okay, house. okay, the, okay. I got you. I got you. The, the jeweler that's bringing it in. Well, I appreciate your time, yeah. and thank you oh, thank very you. kindly. Good to have you in yeah. here. Thanks a lot. Well, we're back. Um, hopefully that gave you some thoughts on this. Here is the receipt, so you can kind of see. Um, I blocked out my name, but you can see 570 bucks. As I said, I've got maybe 15 or 20 bucks into the junk gold that I sold. 
In all honesty, I don't really have anything into the gold. They were bought in big lots, and it's just stuff that showed up. I wasn't buying stuff to find the gold, but as I said in the past, it just turns up in lots that I buy. Custom jewelry that somebody didn't check correctly, pieces from like big bulk lots at estate sales, or even from the local live auctions. Many times people will miss items like that. So hopefully that gave you some thoughts. Gold swapping is one of the easiest things you can do. It's easy to find. Many people don't really know the value. They won't take it into a shop or anything like that, but we swap out gold all the time. Silver especially also. All of it goes, including gold filled. So if you get gold filled as well and have enough of it, they will buy that also, especially right now, because gold is extremely high right now, as you heard. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.